Welcome back to STL Live. I'm Sarah Thompson, and my guests are Kathy Gamble and Allison Pope of the City of St. Louis's. We're saying youth nutrition program, but you're really with the St. Louis, with the City of St. Louis's youth and family services. And obviously today we're focusing on the summer meal service program. Thank you both again for being here. Thank you. So we've kind of covered most of the details of the Schools Out Cafe and that it's running the, to, to access these free meals, breakfast and lunch. It's running through August 9th. I do want to kind of come back to this topic where you are looking for more locations. You said you have 50, around 50 or so currently as sites that are handing out the meals. But tell us more about um, Alex and about the process that one should go through if they're interested in being a hosting site. Yes, so if you have an event, it could be one day event that will have children there or if you're doing a week long like vacation Bible school or you just would, are interested in helping out your community and hosting a site. So you can visit our website and fill out an application. You can also call our office to uh, find out how to apply. Okay, so it's an application that's online, and is there any additional criteria? I know that Kathy covered a little bit in the last segment, but is there any other additional criteria people should think have in mind when applying? So if you are a park site, you need to have some way to keep food cool. Okay. Uh, but if you are in a building, as long as you have a refrigerator that is going to be uh, under 40 degrees to keep the, the food and milk cold, okay. that's our biggest requirement. Okay. I think what's really important to emphasize too with this program is that um, you can walk up to the site and receive food and you can access this program regardless of your family's income, your family income. And I know that Kathy, you have, your children have participated in this program and tell us how that worked for you when, um, when your children were accessing these meals. Well, there was a time I was a stay at home mom mm -hmm. and um, it was not that we had nothing to eat. But during the summer, when the children are home, they're hungry all day long. So this program helped me when I sent them to the rec centers and they would eat there, their breakfast and their lunch. That would help me with my budget, mm -hmm. to stay within budget. And it, and it was just really a blessing to our household. And this was before I began to work for human services. And then here I go after my children were in school and went to work for the city of St. Louis. And I happened to be one of the monitors in the very program that blessed our household. Mm -hmm. So I know what it's like on both sides. Mm -hmm. I know what it's like to help the family. Then also I know what it's like to be like a, a monitor and an overseer to be sure that the food is healthy and to be sure that the food is kept at a safe temperature. So I know it from both ends. It's a very important program mm -hmm. for our young people. And I appreciate you sharing that because I think you do bring up a good point, which is regardless of, I mean, of, of, of income as we're talking about, that kids will just eat a lot of food. Growing children need food. They need healthy meals. And in the summer, they will just eat a lot, especially, I mean, because they're, they're home. And I think that's a really, really good point, that this could be something to supplementing yes. what you're already yes. doing. So how does it feel now being on the side on the administrative side of it is there uh, what do you sort of share with other families as well that well, based on your story I let them know that when we monitor or come to inspect the sites where your children are we're not going there to see if anything is wrong but we want to be sure that everything is right mm -hmm. and we're there to help the sites to feed the children properly and there have been times when things are just everything doesn't go quite right but we're there to help them, to guide them along, to be sure that the food is at the proper temperature, that every child gets what he, mm -hmm. what he desires, and we're there to help them. Mm -hmm. No, oh, that's great. That's great. Thank you for making that point. And Allison, we should point in mind that this is we're focusing so much on the summer, which is important. We want people to know about the summer meal service program, but you're doing work year round. Tell me a bit more about what you're doing outside of the summer months. Yes. So we are also a sponsor. Uh, we're sponsored by the U.S. Department of Agriculture. And so we participate in the child and adult care food program. And so what that means is we have um, we do hot food, breakfast, lunch and snack for daycares and then we also are at uh, after school programs so if you have a daycare or an after school program and you're interested in getting the food to uh, give to your kids we can also do that okay before we close um I'm, before we go to our graphic to, for more information remind me of the website again that people can go to learn not just about the summer meal service program but what you just talked about so it's the city website stlewis-mo.gov 
and you can go down uh, through departments and look for youth and family or you can search for summer food or child care food program. Okay, all right, well thank you and thank you both for being here, thank, thank you so you. much. Thank you. We've got the information there for you right there on the screen. It's Schools Out Cafe, this is the City of St. Louis' summer meal service programming program. It's running now through August 9th. Kids eat free breakfast and lunch and a very nutritional breakfast and lunch as we've just been talking about it. For more information, you can reach out to the City of St. Louis Youth and Family Services at 314-657-1654 or as Allison mentioned, stlewis-mo.gov and go to the Youth and Family Services and kind of go from there for it or search for it, which, which as she mentioned as well. Thank you again for being here. Well, there's more STL Live right after this, please stay with us.